as I slide Martin out of the comms chair. Thanks for those first couple of races from Linkfield. We're going to start with the uh, Starless Orders hurdle qualifier over two miles and three furlongs. So Lady Wright of Great Beckwith is top weight. Court bag about for Martin Needham along with Trojan Bridge. Adonis for Paul Rhodes with Quick March. Fonseca Kelly for James Shea. Alien Assassin for Graham Clutterbuck. Long Wave for Thomas Rogers. Henry Crime for James Shea. Tom's Return for Obi-Wan. Signatory Oki for Thomas Rogers. And Mentalia and Max for Alex Cherry make up 13. Over two miles and three furlongs here at Lingfield. Let's see who can qualify. First four, I'm pretty sure, go through. They're racing. As they sort themselves out, it's more than going to reach the first. We'll skip over that one. The second comes pretty quick. You see him go in the second with the ten flights. It's Tom's return that's gone off up into the lead. The long wave just leaves inside of Mintalia. And they're a couple of lengths back away from the chasing pack. As we come down to the third, it is Tom's return that leads us by a length from the long wave and Mintalia. They're a further lengths back to Adonis. A couple of grades up against the fence. Uh, it's Grand Clutterbuck's Alien Assassin. The one just behind that, I think, is Signatory Oki for Tom Rogers. But it's Tom's return up front. With Lawn Wave for company. Entirely being pushed along a little bit to get a uh, better position as they come down to the next. So it's Tom's return that leads them over. It takes it well. The rest will skip over it. Poor jump at the rear by Lady Writer for Great Beckwith and has got himself a couple of lengths detached. So as we come up to the grandstand, it's Tom's return that's going to lead us from Lawn Wave. Entirely, Henry Crime and Adonis are together. We'll skip over the fourth. Better jump at the rear by Lady Writer. That'll be the last next time round. It's Tom's return from Lawn Wave. Entirely Henry Crime Adonis. Links back to Fonseca Kelly. Max. Hanging an assassin against the fence. Quick marches in there. Out uh, wide is Coolberg. Coolberg about for Martin Leader. Ray. Signatory Oki. Against the fence is Trojan Bridge also for Martin Leader. And Lady Writer has got himself back to the end of the pack. So with over a mile and a quarter still to run, it's Tom's return from Long Wave. And Tyler and Henry Crime has been pretty much that throughout. And it's Tom's return still leads us. I'm not sure if we uh, should allow, or uh, this is a bit of a personal thing, for the starters order seven. As they come down to the fifth. I think if you've already qualified for the, for the finals, I'm not sure whether you should uh, run again. Um, there's a few horses, I think we've probably all done it. So obviously we like to have a runner and it's also a 0 to one twenty handicap. But uh, I think if you've already qualified, I think you should probably uh, not run again as we get to the six. That's my personal opinion. Real slow jump at the rear this time by Trojan Bridge. And he shuffled himself right into the rear. But up front is still Tom's return from Long Wave. Now length or so back to Mentalia and Adonis. In between those is Henry Crime. The grab against the fence is Alien Assassin. Out wider that is Max for Alex Jerry. Wider seal is... I think that's a uh, quick march. I don't know, signatory Oki, isn't it? A quick march. And uh, a further length back to the cool beg about. has made up some ground and had to go wide as they get to the seventh. So on a couple of mistakes there, Max didn't get over it particularly well. But still, the leader is Tom's return, being chased down by James Shea's horses of Henry Crime and Long Wave of Thomas Rogers. Out wide is, I think, oh, it's got a little bit confusing for me now, an alien assassin. But Tom's return, I can still see in the front for Obi Wan, leads by half a length from Henry Crime. And he's wide outside is Adonis, alien assassin is between horses up against the fence, and the red cap is Long Wave. Alex Cherry's Max is making up a bit grand but on the wide outside is Trojan Bridge for Martin Leader. he's pulling a long quick march but it's still Tom's return they've got a catch Tom's return by a length and a half on the wide outside here comes Trojan Bridge as they line up and it's Tom's return leading from Trojan Bridge on the wide outside Adonis and quick march Paul Road running on really well now but it's still Tom's return they've got a catch they'll get over the ninth the penultimate jumps well a couple of mistakes at the rear but it's Tom's return that still leads but here comes Trojan Bridge as they come down to the last and it's Tom's return from Trojan Bridge. Adonis running on really well. Henry Crime up against the fence as they come down to the last. Tom's return is slowing up. And it is a great jump by Adonis. Adonis takes it up. So Adonis leads by a length now as we run inside the final half mile. It's Adonis pushing away all the wall comers. But here comes Henry Crime and Moon Wave to try and close it down. But I think the post is going to come in time for Adonis. It's Adonis and Paul Rhodes is going to take this from Henry Crime in second. Moon Wave is third. I mean, Assassin got up for fourth. 
think uh, Adonis is one of those that's already qualified. So, uh, as I said previously, it was a good win for Paul Rhodes. Takes it from Henry Crime in second. Longway was third. Fourth was Alien Assassin. Fifth was Max, I think, for Alex Cherry. So the qualifiers are. Wait for the card. Press space. Come on. Anyway, Adonis of Paul Rhodes takes it from Henry Crime for James Shea. Long way for Thomas Rogers was third. Alien Assassin for Ponty Paul Racing was fourth. And Max for Alex Cherry was fifth. We'll move on to our last race from Lingfield, which is going to be the Chase Qualifier. <laughs>